What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. We have a fantastic session for you today. This is a buddy of mine, Dylan, who we are about to sign for the same club. Uh, can't announce that yet, unfortunately, but uh, we will in the next couple weeks. Uh, Dylan's got a fantastic training company, which he'll talk about in just a second. Um, but yeah, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Dylan Navande, uh, founder of Ultra Footy Trainer, a professional soccer developmental training company based out of New Jersey. And uh, yeah, we're we're here to showcase some stuff for you guys to hopefully benefit your careers. That's it. Awesome. Let's hop into it. All right, fam. So for this first drill, what we're doing is two cones about six meters away from each other. And all we're doing is one player plays on the sides and one player plays through the middle. So I'm going to bounce Dylan on the side. He's going to play it across through the two cones. I'm going to play it down the other side. He's going to play it across and you continue doing that. And then you switch partners at the very end and do two sets of about a minute to two minutes. Really, really clean, sharp, one touch passing at different angles. Yeah, a little bit, especially with the balls, eh? I think it's more so the ball than the turf. Okay. I feel like. Nice. It's so funny too, like we we might be like sitting here going, oh my god, like the ball is bobbling all over the place. And it looks sharp on video. Dude, oh on wow. Camera. Sorry. All good, yep, here. Uh, on camera it looks so good. <laughs> yeah. And guys are like, dude, your touch is so clean. I'm like, I guess, but like it doesn't you're, feel that way sometimes. To your standard, you're like, you know that's not sharp. Exactly, exactly. A couple more it also good. depends on what you center your focus around. Yeah. A lot of people center their focus. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah. The next drill is one that Michael Cunningham actually showed me, and it's a bounce back across bounce back across. So you're only going diagonal one direction first, and then you swap directions going the other way in the second round. Again, two sets of about one to two minutes, really clean one touch right, passing. The next drill that we did was one that you guys have already seen in lots of my videos, the upside down triangle drill. So you're bouncing inside, bouncing outside, bouncing inside short, dropping to the back cone, touch across the back cone, pass up, bounce small inside, outside, and then you go back the other direction. Well done, yeah, big. I love that. Yep, touch. One more round. Okay. Yep, big. Well done. Ooh. That's so much longer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Big, yeah. Hold yeah. Touch me. Hand finish. That's good. Good. Ready? Yep. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Leave that yeah. small. That's a great touch. Yeah, come in. I got you. Yeah. Go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Out there. Yeah. Good. Good. Long. Good. I got you. Yeah. Ah. I'll move for you yeah. on those angles. Yeah. yeah. Touch. Yeah. Good. Big. Love that touch. Brilliant. Touch here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Long. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Come. Good. Good check. Good check. Good. Then back. Little touch. Okay. Good. Good. Long. Good. Yeah. Inside. Outside. And you're done. Love that. Well done. This next one is pretty straightforward as well. Bounce inside. The guy plays inside again. I take my touch outside. Go around the corner, touch inside, drop. Now I'm playing across my body with the outside foot, with the inside of my outside foot, and then up, as you can see here. Ooh, yep. Hold that. Yeah. Yeah. Good, big. The final one is a bounce inside. You go inside again, stop, roll over, do that corners again. When you drop off to the back cone, it's with the outside of the foot closest to the cone, so your inside foot. Yeah, that rolls. Burn it. Uh, uh, yeah, come on. Roll, touch, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Good wow. Touch. Yeah, okay. Yeah, last one. Uh, ah, so. Yeah, go, big. Well done. That's the touch. Yeah. Roll. Play. Yeah. 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 Roll. Play. Yeah. That's a burner, bro. Yeah. There you go. Little one. Good. Stop rolling. Good. Set me. Good. Little one. Outside foot. Very good touch. Come get it. Good. Stop roll. Good. Yeah. Well. Corner. Well in. Right foot. Good. Set me. Little one. Good. Stop roll. Good. That's one. Yes. Good. Big touch. Yeah, good. Touch. Open. Yeah, good. Boom. Set. Good. Open. Yeah, I love that touch. Back inside. Good. Come get it. Last round. Stop roll. Boom. Good. Good. Touch. Very good. Very good. Yes, good fix. Big. Over. Yeah, get it. Good. Cross your body. Good. Nice. Good. Yeah, little touch. Stop roll. Boom. Get it. Corners. Hand up. Jeez. Woo! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! The next set of exercises, I won't be able to explain them. It's gonna take me a long time, but you can watch all the different reps that we did. And one and two, our front two cones are often very similar. The back two cones, three and four, are also very similar. They're usually the same, just opposite on each side. A lot of these movements are very game realistic. And so all we're doing is we're checking to the cone, we're bouncing or we're taking a touch outside and we're doing different patterns to really simulate an in-game movement, especially when you're in tight spaces or you're in the midfield. This is a great drill for midfielders, great drill for center backs as well, being able to distribute the ball to either side. And then of course, uh, for me as an outside back, really tight, sharp spaces on the outside of the field are where I really need the most work. And so that's what this drill also does. So it's really a great one for game realistic technical skill and technical technique. No. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Yeah. 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 
Keep that quality of pass. Three more. One. Good. Inside. Good. Outside. Check off. Good. Big touch in the middle. Two's here. Good. Turn. Yep. Finish your quality. Three. Good. Come get it. Short. Good. Good. Bounce off. Good touch. Yep. Ah. Big touch in. Good. Yeah, one, two. I got you. And turn. Good. Finish your quality. That's good. Well done. Last one. Here we go. Come on. Four. Good. Come get it. Beautiful, beautiful, good. Touch, touch, go. Okay, two. Answer. Go. Finish one. Yes, good. Woo! The position specific drill that we did for me was Dylan would sit about 25, 30 meters out. He would ping the ball out to me, either lead me forward or play it straight to my feet touchdown cross and we just did that on both sides one round on each side we had about eight or nine balls and so i got reps in on the left and reps in on the right especially for those of you who are wing players and outside backs i'd really recommend doing both feet because you want to make sure you're really good with your strong foot and at least adequate or strong with your weak foot as well so that if you have to cut back and play with your right side when you're on the left it's easy, and you're used to that type of crossing. Woo!
right guys, so that kind of wraps up more of the position specific stuff for the outside back and sort of the general technical stuff. Now Dylan's gonna run, I'm gonna run Dylan through a little bit of a position specific stuff for a center back. He plays left side center back in a back four or a center or left side center back in a back three. And so we're gonna run through a really quick technical drill for him. Again, we're moving sort of on the tail end of the session. So we're really trying to get less burnout and more technique in this last little bit. The last piece is a position specific drill for Dylan as a center back. I set up a number 10, a number six, myself as a wing back, and then also as an eight, and then I had seven and 11. So his job was as I call the numbers, he would play to the correct goal or into the corners to our seven or 11. How do you feel? Yeah? Okay. Anything for the camera? Great session. Yeah, great session. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for uh, our little technical session. Fantastic use of space and uh, go check out, what's your Instagram? Ultra Footy Trainer. Ultra Footy Trainer on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below and it'll be on screen. You'll see it right here as well. Um, yeah, fantastic session. Good to get the feet moving, especially on a uh, high load day. We'll, we'll put it that way. And uh, as always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.